Hey, so I have approximately eight minutes ahead of me uh, before I have to go through an appointment. And within those eight minutes, I'll show you exactly how to create automated faceless videos that you can use on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram. And we'll do that with N8N, N, Airtable, and Agent. So to start with, you need to be familiar with the uh, Agent API documentation. So this is not really complicated. The uh, documentation is actually very clear. So the first step is that you will need to create a webhook and a workflow in NIN so that you can receive the video once they are ready. So this is a workflow that looks like this one. Uh, so uh, here, this is a sub workflow. Uh, this is the get agent video webhook. And so you will see that this is actually a very, very simple one. Uh, so that's just a webhook that you will need to replace. And then uh, you will have a uh, air table node. And so basically this one is looking inside the table and it's basically looking for the um, ID uh, just to make sure that we are updating the right row. And then here it updates the data with the, the, the actual video uh, using the ID that we've previously uploaded. So you will need to replace the webhook, make, make sure you copy and paste this URL and remove the uh, dash test here when this is into production. Uh, so uh, save this URL because you are, you are going to need it in the, in the next step. So now we are going to manage uh, IGEN endpoints. So this is uh, very simple. So according to the API, uh, we can patch um, a record. Uh, so that means we can update it. So yeah, each time you um, uh, press this button here, each time you apply this call, uh, you can change the uh, URL value. So I'm not going to do that uh, because this is this is already done. This one is actually adding an endpoint. Uh, this one actually gets all the endpoints. It's if I click test here, uh, then I get the username uh, endpoint ID, which is what I would use if I was to uh, update this endpoint. And uh, this one actually um, gets the, the uh, endpoint list. So the, those two last ones are the same. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can join the uh, community. Uh, we have uh, two communities. We have a, a free one and a, a paid one. You can quite easily get started with the, uh, with the free one. Uh, you will find templates inside and uh, all kind of useful resources and then uh, join the paid one if you uh, if you want more guidance, more support and more advanced templates. So to carry on with the process, so we need a um, consistent avatar. So a consistent, I create all my consistent avatars on uh, open art. So basically the process is really simple. So I like to get cartoons talking and these videos are actually performing better than, than my videos. Perhaps it's my French accent or I'm not too, uh, too worried about, about that. No, I, uh, I don't, don't really, uh, I don't really care as long as something performs. Uh, so I'll show you the kind of prompt that I use. Uh, so this is uh, this is actual. Uh, so this is a modification. So I can show you this one. I'll show you uh, this one. So this one is a realistic cartoon style business businessman uh, Pixar inspired design with vibrant colors, etc., etc. So once I have an image that I like. I will reuse this image. Uh, so I will um, add this image to image and then I will tweak it a bit. So I will change the background, I will change the face and I will change the expression. And then I will download all of, the, all of those pictures and then upload them in inside um, agent. So I'll just show you the, the actual process. So I've downloaded this image. I could up upscale it if I wanted to have uh, better definition, which I, which is what I would do if this one was into production. And then here I'm going to head over to edit image and then drag and drop. I will use this one. 
And here, as you can see inside OpenArt, we, uh, we have um, uh, a function for faces. And here, I'll just tweak it. So this, this is going to have a wink. And then I will download this picture. And then I will head over in to uh, Agen and uh, to um, uh, train the, the bot. I'll actually go to Avatar, Photo Avatar, and then uh, just upload like eight, nine pictures. And so that's going to be my consistent avatar. Uh, then I will create an automation in order to create those videos automatically. And so the kind of videos that I create are like these. Let me tell you something that will change your life forever if you let it sink in. The richest people in the world are 75% entrepreneurs, 15% investors, 7% inherited wealth, 3% actors and sportsmen, 0% employees. You want to be part of richest? Comment automation below. Okay, so that's really good. And in order to do that, uh, this is actually not very complicated. So inside the Airtable database, obviously I have the text. Uh, so I have an intro or a hook, and then I have a text. So this text is a, is a long form um, social media post copy. Uh, but prior to that, I need to make sure it's converted into something that's readable by the uh, by the AI, so it can be spoken easily. So I remove all emojis and um, make sure that uh, everything gets converted into uh, text, like numbers and uh, money stuff, like dollars and euros, uh, are actually converted into text, so that it's uh, it, it's really easy for the AI to read. So the uh, API call is actually very, very simple. Uh, so this is inside the automation tab here. So uh, uh, get uh, agent video from webhook. So that's not the one. That's the uh, transformation. So in order to um, make this work, so don't worry about the rest of it. This is, this is different type of videos. These are images. These are Twitter cards. But for the sake of this example and the sake of this tutorial, <coughs> I will focus on this middle branch. So basically here, I have a workflow that checks if the uh, conditions are matched. Uh, so basically this uh, must not be in progress and it must not be done. So it means that the, the status is empty. And then I loop over items because I often do um, several dozens at the time. So if I was to run it individually, this will uh, overload the um, LLM models. Uh, so next, I just verify that the transformation equals to create a gen video. And then here, I transform the text into something that's readable by the AI. And then uh, as a next step, uh, upload the, the brand details. So just to make sure that I get the right size, I get the right avatar, and uh, basically that everything aligns with the, the brand for which I want to create the video and uh, the, um, the consistent avatar. And here inside the um, content management database, I have several brands. And you will see that within each brand, I have uh, different kinds of data. Uh, so for instance, this one is me. So I don't use it for myself. As you can see, I'm shooting the videos myself. I don't use um, uh, uh, artificial intelligence for that. Uh, but then I have talking photos and, uh, and different kinds of avatars. So here, this is really important to have the type set to either avatar or talking photo because it uses a different API call. And so here you need to make sure that you selected the right avatar ID. So if you don't know where to uh, get that, this is in agent. And then here in uh, within avatar, uh, you just uh, double click on the, uh, on the, on the avatar uh, folder uh, so that you can see everything. And here, copy avatar ID. Once you've copied the avatar ID, paste it back inside the Airtable database, and now you are pretty much ready to um, uh, trigger the uh, actual HTTP request. So here, as you can see, we have a switch node. So the, the, upper, brand, uh, the upper branch works for avatars 
and the uh, second branch, so the lower branch, works uh, works by, uh, with talking photos. So as I've mentioned, this is really important to differentiate the two uh, because they, um, they th this is actually a different different API call. And so here I just transform the text into something that I can pass without any mistakes into the um, uh, HTTP request. So basically this code makes it JSON safe. So again, if you're not part of the community, you can join and you will uh, you actually get access to these templates and a lot more. If I show you inside the, the template vault, you'll see that there is uh, a lot of, of stuff that you can just uh, download, copy, uh, copy and paste uh, pretty much. So if you've never deployed the template in N8N, this is that easy. So you uh, create a new workflow and then here click those three dots and then import from file and everything will be deployed. You will just need to change the, the credentials. So just to go back to the, uh, to the actual API core, you'll see that this is not complicated, really not complicated at all. Obviously you will need to change the credentials, but basically the API core uh, is set this way, so this is um, this sends a request to this URL here, so video generate, and then the API core contains the uh, type, so talking photo, so this is the exactly the same one than the than the one we have in the uh, database. That's re the reason why it's really important to set it there properly, and then. Uh, as the next step, we have the avatar style, which is normal. Here you can choose the voice. So I usually choose the voice that's already added within the avatar. So uh, just like I did to uh, copy the ID for the uh, photo avatar, you do the same way, you do it the exactly the same way to get the voice ID. I like to speed up the video a little bit and the, this text is actually the text coming from the uh, previous LLM node. So the one that's actually transforming a post content into something readable by AI. Uh, this is a test, so I think you get like 10 or 15 requests um, just to, uh, to test and to build, and then you have to pay. I don't find that this is very expensive, but this is um, still has a cost. And the dimensions are um, 12 by 8, uh, 1280 by 720. So that's all there is to it. Uh, after the uh, core has been processed, uh, well, it updates the. Uh, so here we uh, we see it red because this is using a loop. Uh, but if this wasn't using a loop, it would be uh, it would be green. Um, this is just the reference doesn't exist here. Uh, the um, agent video ID gets updated inside this draft uh, post table. So here, and this is really important because then when we get the, um, the video that's actually ready and when we get the, the media file, this updates the row based on this agent ID so that it doesn't create a new row, it just uses the same row and then updates the content in there. So uh, that's that's really really important. It's the reason why you need to make sure that this get agent video webhook works properly, and you need to make sure that it actually updates using the uh, the right uh, ID. So that was it. It's really really simple to uh, to create really cool videos. I think I'm going to publish more videos like this to build like UGC content and. Uh, affiliate content and uh, a lot more content like that because this is um, this is this is really a, a revolution and it's really easy to do